In music, a bar chord is a type of chord on a guitar or other stringed instrument, that the musician plays by using one or more fingers to press down multiple strings across a single fret of the fingerboard. Players use this chording technique to play a chord that is not restricted by the tones of the guitar's open strings. For instance, if a guitar is tuned to regular concert pitch, with the open strings being E, A, D, G, B, E, open chords must be based on one or more of these notes. To play an far unregistered trademark chord the guitarist may bar strings so that the chord roots is far unregistered trademark. Bar chords are sometimes called movable chords, as the player can move the whole chord shape up and down the neck. Commonly used in both popular and classical music. Bar chords are frequently used in combination with open chords, where the guitar's open strings construct the chord. Playing a chord with the bar technique slightly affects tone quality. A closed, or fretted, note sounds slightly different sound than an open, unfretted, string. Using the bar technique, the guitarist can fret a familiar chord that is usually played with open strings, and then transpose, or raise, the chord a number of half steps higher similar to the use of a carpo. For example, if a guitarist plays an E major and wants the next chord to be in far unregistered trademark major or euro barring the open E major up two frets from the open position produces a barred far unregistered trademark major chord. Etymology, the term comes from the method of using the index finger to form a rigid bar across all of the strings. The specific spelling bar has two alternate proposed etymologies. One theory states that bar comes from Spanish, as the guitar historically originated in Spain. The other explanation is that the spelling bar distinguishes the term from the spelling bar that traditionally represents a measure, and that bar chord might generate confusion. Technique and Application Note Notes of each chord are listed in order from bottom string to top. Bar chords are typically used for more complex chord voicings and playing in keys not suitable for the more basic open chords at the first position of a standard tuned guitar. When fretting a bar chord, because the strings are no longer open, they do not resonate as brightly or long as an open chord. The sound is muted by the pressure placed on the bar. Heavy pressure in the center of the frets produces less muting. Therefore, when playing bar chords, it is important to practice maintaining adequate pressure, as the technique is tiring for beginners and the strings dig into the flesh of the uncolored finger. The two most commonly barred notes are variations of A and E. These bar chords are most common in rock, blues and country music. The E bar chord is made of an E chord shape moved up and down the frets and being barred, changing the note. For example, the E chord barred one fret up becomes an F chord. Your next fret up is far unregistered trademark, followed by G, or unregistered trademark, A, bar unregistered trademark, B, C, car unregistered trademark, D, A unregistered trademark, and then back to E at fret 12. E A, E05, B05, G16, D27, A27, E05, guitar tablature of an open E chord and an E shape A bar chord. The A bar chord, commonly called the double bar, is made by sliding the A chord shape up and down the frets. When the A chord is barred, the index finger lies across the top five strings, touching the sixth string to deaden it. Either the ring or little finger is then barred across the second, third, and fourth strings two frets down, or one finger frets each string. For instance, if barred at the second fret, the A chord becomes B. From fret 1 to 12. The bar A becomes bar unregistered trademark, B, C, car unregistered trademark, D, A unregistered trademark, E, F, far unregistered trademark, G, or unregistered trademark, and at the 12th fret, it is A again. A D, E05, B27, G27, D27, A05, E, guitar tablature of an open A chord and an A shaped D bar chord. Often the highest note in a double bar chord is left out. All variations of these two chords can be barred, dominant 7 ths, minors, minor 7 ths, etc. Any major chord on the guitar can be played with A and E bar chords. Minor bar chords are made the same as other chords, by flatting the third. Example 
FFMCCM, E1133, B1154, G2155, D3355, A3333, E11. In addition to the two most common shapes above, bar movable cords can also be built around C, D and G shapes, similarly drawn from their open position equivalents. However, these shapes are not used as commonly as E and A example. DAM, E253, B325, G224, D422, A54, E5. The above shows D major and C shape form, a major and G shape form and E minor and D shape form. The D shape, for example, can be seen as a higher voiced alternative to the standard open E minor form. Similarly, in the example above, the C shape offers an alternative voicing to an open D major or A shape D major. Variations of the basic major and minor triad chords can also be formed using these five main shapes as their foundation. For example, the open CAD 9 shape can be used in its C shape bar form up the guitar neck as desired. The use of the leading tone in perfect authentic cadence in popular music is often attributed to the ease of sliding a bar chord up two frets. In the context of classical music, Fernando Saw recommends that one should be sparing of the operations called barring and shifting. The principal reason for avoiding bars is that playing them requires more effort than not. However, there are frequent occasions when bars are the best or only solutions for playing certain passages. Small bar chords. FF, E11, B11, G22, D33, A3, E1, an F-shaped great bar chord and an F-shaped small bar chord. Guitarists distinguish between the great bar slash grand bar, or full bar chord and incomplete or small bar chords such as the half bar. The small bar or regular F chord is easily obtainable, but being able to play the small bar chord formations does little towards developing the technique required to play the great bar chord formations. GM 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 GM7, E3333, B3333, G3333, D553, A5, E3, E shape GM great, small, simplified version, and M7 shape GM7 small chords. The simplified version on the upper three strings is described as useful in playing solos, and may be played with any of the first three fingers. The minor seventh chords whose root is located on the first may instead be considered an added sixth chords whose root is located on the third string, in which case one may consider the GM7 a bar in register trademark add six. Diagonal bar chord a diagonal bar chord is a very rare chord involving the barring of a couple of strings with the first finger, diagonally on different frets. Notation: The bar is often signed on tablature as C with the fret number as Roman numeral, such as CVII CVII CXII CII, E78132, B98154, G98142, D91012-4, A71012-2, E78122. ECMDMB7. In some notation styles, the C is usually omitted, with the number of courses to bar written as an index. For example, on a guitar, VII4 indicates a bar on the seventh fret over the highest four strings. There is no rule for whether full bar chords are written with indices or without. It is a matter of personal taste for the editor. It is customary to place the bar sign above the staff with a spanning line to mark duration. See also, slide guitar, thumb position. References External links, guitar chords. Guitar chords.